Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good. Now I've gotten some questions from various people. Uh, Karen Hill asks about with my compost tea slash Dave's fetid swamp water slash anaerobic evil stuff that is so, so bad. You should never ever make it because it's evil. So she asks if um, you know she could just make a continuous batch and keep throwing stuff in there. I don't see why not. I've done that. Just let it keep rotting down for a long time. Other people have asked uh, how many weeks to let it go before you use it? Well, I basically just wait until it looks like it's turning into a tea, like it's absorbed some of the nutrients in it. So a couple of weeks. But the Koreans like to, to let the stuff ferment for as long as months. And so, you know, I would start using it after a couple of weeks after it rots a bit. Um, other people said, you know, what about meat? You know, you actually put some meat in that thing? I'm like, yeah, because meat is super nutrient dense. And so when it rots down and ferments in that thing, that nutrient density is going to go onto my plants. Other people said, can I use it for leaf vegetables? I would not use it on your salad greens. That's a common sense sort of a thing. Uh, I, just, I just don't really want to. Uh, now, when they're young, when they're transplants, whatever, I will feed them up with them at the beginning, knowing that I'm not going to harvest them for a few weeks. You got to remember that the UV light of the sun pretty much gets rid of all kinds of toxins and everything else. And plus you're going to rain and irrigate and whatever else. So if you put that, that anaerobic stuff on top of it, and then you decided to make a salad and eat it, that would be a bad idea. Don't do that. But if you were going to just, you know, fertilize the stuff and then a week or so later go and make a salad out of it, well, just rinse it off. It's probably going to be fine. Now, obviously, I don't have any legal experience in this and uh, and I don't know how the lawsuits work, but while we're on that point, every time I, I talk about uh, using urine as fertilizer, somebody always says, you know, what about pharmaceuticals and that sort of thing? It's like, well, you're already taking those things. If you're taking those things, if you're taking drugs and pharmaceuticals, we well, are already taking them into your body. Uh, throwing a few more in your garden, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't take any drugs, pharmaceutical or otherwise, other than good, good healthy stuff like nicotine, caffeine and alcohol that that's it other than that you know um it so i'm not really worried about anything coming through and and that's that's up to you i'm i'm not your mom and uh and i'm i'm really not going to warn people about everything because i could warn people about absolutely everything and and i just don't want to do that there's everybody's telling us what to do already you know just use common sense if you're worried about it don't do it if you're if you're not worried about it well go ahead and see what happens I mean, you might be getting a little bit of your drugs back for free. So there you go. Um, so I think we had a couple more questions. Somebody else asked about tofu. I've got some tofu that's spoiled. Well, tofu, that's great. Um, there's a lot of protein in there. Protein breaks down into nitrogen. Absolutely use it. The idea is to get as much fertility as possible into the brew. So we're just going to we're just going to make a soup out of it and let it rot down to feed the plants and it works really well you know we, we've had fish emulsion people use blood meal right so there's there's all these additions we use in the gardens like people use blood meal but the, and they use manure in their gardens and they might buy urea fertilizer people people are using all kinds of stuff that is strong and scary and everything else and and it feeds the gardens really really well so the idea is is to stop having to buy a lot of these kind of things and just find what you have locally and make a good combination of nutrition. Let it rot down into a soup, super easy, and then water your plants with it. So there's just a few answers and I hope that's helpful. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend, what's left of it, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. So be sure to like and subscribe because if you don't like and subscribe, you'll probably die. And I'm really, really concerned and I wanna warn you about that because it's really, really, really important that you don't die. So. Just telling you that. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green.